Well, an alarming new statewide report shows that Missouri had a 22 percent increase in sleep related infant suffocation last year. Even more difficult is these deaths are almost entirely preventable. Dr. Brianne Colvin is a Washington University neonatalist at St. Louis Children's Hospital and is with us this morning with more on the ABC and D's of safe sleep. Good morning to Good you. Morning. Yeah, it's hard to hear those statistics. Absolutely. Yeah. What else can we take away from that report? Well, what's most important about this report is that what we're seeing is that more babies who die of sleep-related infant deaths are dying of suffocation. And what that means in general is that these babies are being placed in an adult bed instead of their crib where they're more safe. All right, so let's go through the, the A, B, C, and Ds of safe sleep. Yeah. What, what does the A stand for? A stands for alone, and that doesn't mean we want the baby isolated. We want the baby alone in their crib, which means nothing else in the crib with the baby, just the fitted crib sheet, and then plus or minus a swaddle. Yeah, and, and the B stands for, it stands for back, which we heard mm -hmm. so much with, with mm -hmm. SIDS and things, but we still want to place them on their back. Always. We always want the baby on their back to sleep for every sleep. Yeah, what is the reason for that? So we know that when babies are on their stomach, they're more likely to suffocate. And how that happens is that you get a buildup of carbon dioxide around the baby's face, and that uh, makes them less likely to wake up when they need to. All right, and the C stands for crib. What kind of crib are we looking for? So uh, any kind of crib, really. We want them certified by the, C uh, the Consumer Product Safety mm -hmm. Commission. Um, and if you do happen to get an older crib, you want to make sure that the sides don't drop um, and that if the slats, are, the slats are no wider than like a soda can. Yeah, absolutely. And I noticed with this crib, no baby bumpers, all right. no blankets, yes, exactly. yeah, I mean, which is important. Yes. I always say the cutest thing in the crib should be your baby. Yeah. I, I love that. I love it. What about the, the ones that they make uh, that you can put in the bed with you? For the yeah. baby. We would like to avoid those okay. just because we worry about the baby getting too warm. Uh, 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 beside the bed, a bedside bassinet is a much better option. All right, very good. And the D then stands for don't. Don't what? Don't smoke. So we want no sort of smoke tobacco exposure around the baby. That definitely increases the risk of a sleep-related infant death. Yeah, absolutely. Do, do, are you finding, other than the, out of this last report, that some things are getting better, maybe with putting them on their back or certain things like that? Um, not necessarily putting them on their back, but we see that m most of the time. Um, what is promising about this report is that most of these deaths are preventable. Right, right. And so if we know that we put the babies um, in their own crib, they are at much lower risk and, and we hope that then um, that these deaths reduce in the future. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll keep us updated on that. Follow those sleep, sleep, sleep safety rules and uh, hopefully we'll be able to turn that report around. Yes, absolutely. Right, thank you so much. Dr. Brianne Colvin with St. Louis Children's Hospital. We're going to take a break. We'll be back.